But at the end of the day, I said, listen, this guy is fighting for so many things and I've seen so many injustice here. I should do something. I was living in the United Arab Emirates in Dubai, precisely, um, working like uh, working as a cabin crew for uh, Emirates airline, and um, I just decided to come back home because um, I was tired of the job. So <clears throat> I resigned, and I was in a farewell party with some friends in a restaurant, and the police came asking uh, some uh, some something about my house if uh, there was a party going on in my house, if there was <clears throat> there were people in my house. And I said, yes, one of my flatmates is there and um, he's giving a party over there. So, and um, that's how it starts. So they just put me handcuffs uh, in the restaurant uh, with two other friends. And they took me to the police station uh, without telling me anything that was going on. One of the people that was in the party, they, he, he had drugs with him. So we, we were all in jail for uh, myself because it was my house. Of course, I was very desperate to call my family. I was crying, I was banging the door, I was smashing the door. I said, listen, I need to call my family. Uh, the jailers, they didn't care much about me. And then this guy starts talking to me and he starts shouting because we could not talk to each other but we could uh, talk to the, to the ceiling because there, was, there were no roof, just kind of a metal net to uh, avoid us jumping or throwing objects. So they moved me to number two, cell number two. Um, and I was just side by side with Ahmed Mansour so we could talk, we could develop all conversation. I could understand who this guy was and the, jail, uh, the, the reasons he was jailed for. I said, well, my problems are not, are not big problems comparing to this guy. Uh, and I knew, I, rem I remember that uh, human rights activists are not very welcome in Arabic countries. Um, I had the right mattress and I had the right to have a blanket, uh, but Mansour he didn't. He was sleeping on the floor for the past, until I left, three and a half years. He was sleeping on the floor without blankets and without mattress. Um, and he had to manage the situation. He, he, he told me clearly, listen, uh, I just think my country will be a better country if they follow uh, the human rights. Uh, they, they signed an agreement in 2012 against the torture, but what they do to prisoners, it's torture. And he's absolutely right. When Mansour said they are torturing me, it means how can you put someone in solitary confinement because you are a human rights activist and you do not give a mattress, you do not give a, a pillow, you do not give blanket. This is torture. And uh, yeah, f he's a very brave man um, when, when he shared his stories with me. But when he told me his age, he's just uh, five years older than me. But I said, look, there's something weird there because uh, he, he, he's a white hair man now, completely white hair man. He started bowing to the front. Um, even though he tried to make his sports walking up and down our tiny cells, um, he said he developed his uh, high blood pressure now and um, cholesterol, that's what he told me. And he's taken to the clinic every 15 days just to make sure uh, he has the medical treatment. And he said, this is something he, 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 he on a joke, he said, listen, um, they just want to make sure that I would not die to follow uh, the 10 years inside the jail and I would die at the end. Like, he looks like he's 60, 65 years old. His appearance, his body appearance and uh, 
And he, and he says, listen, I know, I know that I'm aging, but what can I do? I just think about my family. I just think about my fights. Uh, he just uh, used to go out for, for phone calls twice a month, every, 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 and of course, many police officers coming to him, uh, coming to take him to the phone call. There was someone hearing his communication, uh, as he told me, but many times I saw him coming back upset and he was telling me they just got the communication at three minutes, three and a half minutes. I cannot talk to my children. Uh, my sister, she took the phone and she tried to call, talk to me and just got the communication because I'm just allowed to talk to my mother. And then they put me in a, in a cell in front of him. So he was number one and I was number 36, but just in front of each other. And um, he asked me, we, we were talking to the, to the glass, writing on the glass with the fingers. And uh, he asked me if I could um, send a letter to Human Rights Watch. And he, he gave me, he had given me, I read the names and the people that I should contact from outside. So um, we were very, very um, scared. I just put on the sole of my foot, of my shoe, and um, every screen, every screen, every scanner that I, I, I went through, I was scared. It was just a victory until I come to the airplane and I could take the letter off, out of my shoe and just send to whoever he asked me for. I observed that some prisoners, um, they were treated different if they are Emirati or if they are um, foreigners. Um, for example, people with uh, prisoners with hepatitis C or HIV, if they are Emirati, they are taken care of by the government with a special treatment, with the most modern treatment, let's say. Uh, but if you are a foreigner, you are not. So it's it's the law, the government, what they do to foreigners and to the human rights. Human rights activity is something that, that it's, 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 for me, it's, there are no words to explain because you are just for fighting for human rights. It's, it could not be complicated. It could, it could not be uh, hard to understand uh, when you have to fight for this. So that's why the reason why I decided Ahmed Mosu was the main one was the main one because this guy is aging and um, I don't think, I don't believe he's going to see his family uh, if someone does not do anything uh, to help him out. Um, I could not have gone through this experience to have seen all of this and just stay quiet, don't say anything. It would not be fair. So I decided to speak up. Threats, I received or read some advices, listen, watch out, listen, pay attention, listen, I wouldn't do that, but it's too late now. <laughs>